Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 30th of 2022, well, it is titled M44, the Beehive Cluster. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the closest star clusters to our Milky Way galaxy. It's known by the catalog designation M44 and also popularly known as the Beehive Cluster. These are relatively young stars, less than a billion years old, and that when we look at them, we see a number of blue stars there. The blue stars are stars still on the main sequence, still going through their lives and burning hydrogen into helium in their cores. And we see a distinct difference between several of the stars, which do appear redder in color. And you can see those scattered throughout the cluster. Those red stars are red giant stars, so stars that have evolved and have used up their fuel and are now becoming much cooler and much larger. So they are much larger stars in general than the bluer stars. And we see in the cluster both of these two types of stars, which can, we can distinguish just by their color. Now, this cluster has been known since ancient times. It's actually visible easily to the naked eye. Uh, if you're looking in the right direction, in this case, towards the constellation of Cancer. And if you look out there, then you can see a fuzzy patch that will look with be this, this cluster. Now, you won't be able to see the individual stars. It takes a telescope or pair of binoculars to be able to separate it into the stars, such as we see in our picture. But it is actually a visible cluster just with the naked eye. And it is actually related to another cluster, which is the Hyades cluster. And it may, they may have been formed at the same time. Now, how would we know that? Well, we can look at their ages being relatively close together and the directions that they're moving through the universe and through the galaxy are very similar. So that leads us to believe that they probably formed at around the same time from the same molecular cloud nearly a billion years ago. And this is an example of what we call an open cluster of stars. An open cluster is a relatively young cluster where the stars are not, and there are not enough stars to gravitationally bind themselves together. So over time, these will spread out and dissipate out into space as the stars go through their lives. And we would no longer see it as a cluster over billions of years. That the stars would now just be random background stars within the entire galaxy. And likely our own sun was something like this at some point in the distant past. It was once part of a cluster and now is pretty much all by itself. So that was our picture of the day for April 30th of 2022. It was titled M44, the Beehive Cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Black Hole Shadow. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.